Hi, and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. In this video, I'll take you through the paintwork on this Audi A5 Quattro. As you can see, the prep work's already been done. I've then wiped it down with a prep sole rag or a wax and grease removing solvent and wiped it down with a attack cloth, which is that yellow cloth to remove any more little bits of lint and dust that may be on the panel and then I'm putting on my first coat of base coat colour. As you can see on this first coat we just put the colour over the primed areas and that little spot there with a little stone chip which I put a bit of two pack filler in so we'll start getting a coat over that to start getting some coverage. And I've left this in real time just to give you an idea of uh, the drying times in between coats of base coat. Um, the ambient temperature on this day was about 30 degrees and no humidity. So You can also use the air gun to help dry your base coat. This is solvent base coat. If it was water based it may take a little bit longer but that really only took about a minute and it's right to go on with the next coat. So second coat, you should start to get uh, basic coverage. And as you can see, I'm going to start my first coat on this blend on this door. I'm starting to flick that colour out. Then let that dry off and use the tack rag again to wipe over the areas that you're not putting colour. It will help remove any bits of dust that may have landed on it from when you're putting your base coat on. And now I'm about to go and grab my uh, blending clear gun. This is a separate gun that I use uh, for blending clear. It's basically a clear coat of base coat which allows your blend coat of colour to land in that nice and it will stop you being able to see any colour difference after it's blended. I'll then change back over to our base coat gun, get the pressure up nice and high. Two bar of pressure or 29, 30 psi. Um, just get that coat on, not too wet because uh, the metallic flake, uh, you want it to stand up. If you put it on too wet, that flake will actually end up lying down. So the lighter you put it on, the more it's going to stand up and the better the effect's going to look. Take note of how I'm doing that blend, you're just flicking it towards the front of the door. You're lifting off the panel. As you can see on the rear of that door there's full colour but on the front there's no colour and it blends, blends out nicely. Now somehow I managed to lose the footage of the first coat of clear on this job so we'll skip straight to the second coat. But basically the first coat is the same as the second one but it's just not quite as heavy It's just to close, close the base coat up so you can't see any of the base coat. So. Uh, for more in-depth on the gun setup on this, uh, I'm using a Devilbus GTI Pro with a HVLP cap on it uh, because it's an Audi, it's a European car, they've got a nice uh, thick wet uh, finish on them so I'll actually change the gun around depending on the car I'm painting and the finish I'm looking for. For more in-depth, um, yeah, for more in-depth uh, on the setup on this gun, you can check some of my other videos out. There's a link to a BMW that I did at the end, and I explain a little bit more in depth about the um, the way to set the gun up and the clears that I'm using. On this job, I'm using standox. And up the top here, I'm just finishing halfway up that pillar. I'll then go and grab a mini gun, which I have, a small spray gun that has actually blending thinners in it, which is a specific thinner that helps uh, blend, so then later when it's out the back in the polishing bay we can get the buff onto it, polish that up, and you wouldn't know that there's two separately painted parts, so thanks for watching this video, uh, this has been another Gunman production, goodbye.